again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 30th of January, 2019. Just read a rather interesting article on Fox News, published on the 29th of January, 2019. Title, Dems to Strike, So Help Me God, from Oath Taken in Front of Key House Committee Draft Shows. Well, if they get that passed, It'll be the first step. They're going to remove reference, all reference, to God. Not only in oaths in front of the committee, but everywhere. You'll see a, an embedded video of that mentally deranged speaker, Nancy Pelosi. A key committee in a Democrat-controlled House of Representatives is moving to eliminate the God reference from the oath administered to witnesses testifying before the panel is part of a new rules package expected to be approved this week, according to a draft obtained exclusively by Fox News. The draft shows that the House Committee on Natural Resources would ask witnesses to recite only, quote, do you solemnly swear or affirm under penalty of law that the testimony that you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The rules proposal places the words to help me God in red brackets indicating they are slated to be cut. The words under penalty of law are in red text indicating that Democrats propose to add that phrasing to the oath. The draft rules also removes the phrase his or her throughout the document changing those two pronouns to their the rules additionally modify all references to the committee's chairman to instead refer only to the committee chair. You know, they have nothing better to do than to sit there nitpicking all this crap. Other rules changes related to expanding the committee's authority over natural gas in Alaska and fossil fuel resources. While many federal oaths include the phrase, so help me God, some most notably the presidential oath of office do not. The full committee is set to vote on the new language this week, and the rules would take effect immediately if adopted. Other committees were still in the process of finalizing the rules on Monday. Republican leaders reacted with dismay to the proposed change and suggested it was a sign of the Democratic Party's leftward shift. They couldn't shift any more left. It is incredible but not surprising that the Democrats would try to remove God from committee proceedings in one of the first acts in the majority House Republican Conference Chairwoman Liz Cheney, Republican Wyoming, told Fox News. They really have become the party of Karl Marx. Hey Liz, you might want to take a look in your old daddy's past. Like when he went to Colorado to shut down the air grid on 9-11. Spokespeople for the Natural Resources Committee did not immediately reply to Fox News' request for comment. The committee, which has oversight of national parks, wildlife, and energy, is chaired by Democratic Arizona Republican Paul Gregielava. The proposed change was not the first time Democrats have sought to strike reference to God in official party documents. In 2012, the floor of the Democratic National Convention erupted over sudden move to restore to the platform a reference to God and recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. After heavy criticism from Republicans for initially omitting them, Democrats, though, were hardly in agreement over the reversal. A large and loud group of delegates shouted, No! As the convention chairman, then Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Vilgueros, called for the vote. Vilgaris had to call for the vote three times before ruling that the A's had it. Many in the crowd booed after he determined the language would be restored. The battle marks the biggest platform fight in either party's convention and signal Democrats were worried the prior language could have been politically damaging in a tight election year. A senior campaign official told Fox News at the time that then-President Barack Obama personally intervened to change the language in both cases 
On the God reference, the official said the president's response was, why did it change in the first place? The House panel's proposed change comes as far-left progressive Democrats freshmen in Congress, including Michigan Representative Rashida Tlaib and Minnesota Imam Omar, have come under fire from Republicans for pushing what they call radical and unfounded religious-based attacks. What do you expect? They're Muslims. They followed a Quran. Omar, for example, wrote in 212 that Israel has hypnotized the world. May Allah awaken the people and help them see the evil doing of Israel. Talib was accused of engaging in anti-Semitic slur earlier this month by suggesting Republican politicians were truly loyal to Israel, not the United States. Omar and Tariq made history by becoming the first ever Muslim woman in Congress. You know, I told you folks, we had one, then we had two, now we got four. How long before we've got six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty? How long before we get Muslims in the Senate? Huh? Absolutely effing nuts. I'll attach the link. Take a look at the embedded video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. Can't hurt, can it?